What's up, everybody? P.G. Braun here, president of Black Soul Lab, standing here with everybody's favorite coach, Coach K herself. Hi. Very cute today. I like the animal print. Thank you. I, so I had to bring, I didn't have to bring, but I, I wanted to bring a hot girl for the video. And so tops of the list that everybody's asking for lately is Coach K and Shelby. All the Shelby stuff makes me feel a little uncomfortable because I do view her as a daughter. Karen is more of a sister. Is that different? Down South type of sister though. Some of my, my down south people get that a little bit more. Um, so I don't mind you guys being pervy with her, although I keep it down a little bit. Um, I think we're used to it by now. We are, we are. People literally, 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 literally say, can you please do videos with Coach K? So I'm giving you guys what you want. And um, what I'm gonna try to do is we're going into Body 20, which is this new revolutionary thing that I don't even know that much about. I did research it a little bit. Um, both of us know about it because Karen's client, Joel, has actually taken the class here, told us about it. We are very interested. I'm trying to find the more innovative and new and and um, interesting stuff to show you guys when it comes to fitness and things related to the human body. So we're gonna try to do this together at the same time. We don't really know what we're getting into. Now, he asked me, because I've already spoken to the owner, Zach, if we were gonna go separate or together, I would prefer us going together. Do you wanna go separate? Like tanned, like are we in the same vest together or is it a different vest? See, I don't know anything about that. I know it's a small room and we're gonna be in there together. I want it would be more fun if we're actually doing it together. That's whatever. what I think because we'll be able to share how we're feeling together. Yeah. Uh, versus me watching you and like cheering you on and vice versa. Yeah, can we do it together? I, I, I want to go in, so my, <laughs> my vision of this is me and Karen go in this journey together. We come out together and we share this and together we forever. We get ripped. So uh, we're, we're going into Body 20 now. I'm gonna introduce you to the owner and he's gonna explain truly what it is because uh, I don't wanna ruin it. Now I'll tell you this guys, this is supposed to be a workout. So if it is not a workout, I'm gonna tell you afterwards. And if it is, I'm gonna tell you the truth as well. That's what we always do here. So without further ado, let's go inside Body 20 with Coach K. Try to pay attention to me a little bit while she's here guys. Please. No, it's all about me. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. All right, guys, we are inside of Body 20, my first time in here. It's a very, very high-tech looking establishment. As I said in the intro, I don't know a lot about this, so who better to learn from than Zach, who I actually met at an event here in Boca a few weeks ago. And I was very, very interested. He invited me to come down, and so here I am. Thanks. Tell us about it. So this is Body 20. We use EMS, electric muscle stimulation. What that does is it stimulates the muscle much like how the brain stimulates the muscle. The brain sends electrical impulses along the central nervous system to tell our muscles to contract. Now, we only stimulate the skeletal muscle. You have smooth muscle, which is around the veins and the organs, and then you have the cardiac muscle, which is obviously the heart. We only work with the skeletal muscle. So that way you're getting really, really full, benef uh, full contraction, full benefit of, of working out with simulating really heavy weights without any weights. So you're getting the benefit of lifting with heavy weight without actually lifting any weight. So the, the benefits of obviously that are no stress on the joints, very, very good for lower back issues, for knee issues, for shoulder issues, people that can't work out heavy in the gym that need to work out heavy, preventing osteoporosis. All right, so today's my first time in here today. Right. And obviously you've explained to me the benefits. How often can I do this? You know, is it something that I can overdo? How long does it take? Can I still work out with regular weights? Perfect. So let's start with the body 20. That means 20 minute workouts. Okay, so you're gonna have the door in a half an hour. Within those 20 minute workouts, we're giving you 36,000 muscle contractions. Damn. So it equals a hell of a lot of lifting yeah. in the gym. Um, and it's full body. So you wouldn't wanna work out the day of or the day after, at least in the gym lifting heavy, that you do a strength workout. Now we also have a cardio workout now, the cardio isn't steady state cardio, it's not just running on the treadmill or the bike. Um, it's very dynamic, it's hit style training, we use the battle ropes. Um, we try and make it as fun and as enjoyable as possible, working it within your range of motion. It's amazing for burning fat, you're burning between 400 and 600 calories in 20 minutes. Wow. So and, it's very and intense. The, the hit, how many times a week can you do that versus the weight you want, or the, the weight version? You're not doing the same session, right? No, you do one and then the other. Um, you're doing this between one and three times a week. Honestly, you could get away with just once a week because you're already looking pretty much the way you want to look mm -hmm. and you just want to maintain or fine tune. Um, the strength you can only do once every five days. To make it easy, we just say once a week because your body needs that time to recover. Gotcha. If you don't, it'll overtrain. You'll end up not seeing the results you want and you could just catch the flu or something because your body's so- Beat you up that much, that's intense. Yeah. So the most that somebody would come here would be three times a week? Yeah. 
Um, now, of those three times a week, do you recommend that they rotate? You know, like say they wanted to do, say they were really focused on, um, like say like somebody had an injury, right? Yeah. You couldn't live with the heavy weights like you said, but they were really trying to get back to where they were. Could they speed up the process by going three times a week or would you recommend that they stick to only, you know, the one and, and get the proper recovery? Um, so the strength, like I said, is only once a week. The mm -hmm. other subsequent uh, workouts would be cardio. And the cardio is also very good for training the body to be more responsive, to know where it is in space. So that means uh, your balance is increased, uh, improved. The, I would, it depends on what the goal is. To uh, improve recovery or to improve from an injury, you would probably want to come once or twice a week. Um, if you're looking to lose a lot of weight, then three times a week. Okay, and, more of that. and that's an hour total a week. That's completely going to take any kind of gym time. From yeah, and I know, and I always tell people in today's day and age, everyone wants results fast. They want to get stuff done fast. So I think it's very appealing, obviously, for people that can think, I want to get a good workout in 20 minutes, be in and out of here in a half an hour. Now, myself, I have a little bit of an injury right now. Do I have to worry about anything today? I have a pec strain from Monday. It's pretty sore. I don't think it's anything that I have to worry about um, injuring worse, I'm gonna be pretty smart about it, but at least for the next week, I'm not gonna do any like hard chest work and right. work around that. Do I have to be careful today when I go in there? So you don't have to be careful, you just have to let me know if there's too much stimulus on the pec. Okay. Um, I can control each individual body part, so I can turn it up, I can turn it down. If your goal is to work upper body, mm -hmm. we can really crank it, but as well, as we're going through a 20 minute full body workout, you're still getting the benefit of the legs, of everything else, the back, but we can just do majoritively uh, upper body work. Whereas cool. some people like to do majority lower body work, glutes, hamstrings, abs, and Again, same thing, you're still getting the full benefit of a full body workout, but we can isolate the, the lower body more to cool. get that, cool. that added benefit. Now, how long have you been doing this for? So I've been doing this for a year. Um, I just opened up within the past three months here, but I started off as a trainer in Fort Lauderdale. Um, met the owner, sat down with him. He wanted me to uh, be his trainer, and I was a little skeptical. I was pretty skeptical. <laughs> Being honest, he was pretty skeptical. I think I was a little bit too, so far. I, I went to him and I was like, listen, that sounds great, but it sounds too good to be true. So first I want to try it, and then I want you to explain the bits and pieces uh, scientifically that I don't fully understand. So he's like, yeah, sure, come by. I tried out the first time. The person that trained me was uh, new, and I honestly wasn't thrilled by it. I, I mean, it was cool. Um, but I didn't get sore the next day or the day after. However, two days later, I was teaching a class to this elderly group of women with stretch cords and stuff, like a warm up for me. And it was kicking my butt. And at that point I was like, why? Like I slept well, I ate well. There's no reason why I should be struggling this much. And I was like, no way is it from that 12 minute workout that I did two days ago. Um, I went back that day because I had a cardio session scheduled to see b both aspects of it and the cardio killed me. Wow. In 20 minutes, I was, I was done. And then I was like, all right, tell me more. Cool. And that's Karen's a cardio junkie. I wonder how, how she would be with it. Yeah. I know. I'm excited. You're excited? Cardio, cardio is the best. Cardio is my favorite on this. Really? It's, there's, no, there's nothing you can do better than this for cardio, especially if you're an endurance athlete, you can boost your VO2 max between up to five and 10%, which is genetically superior than you could ever do on your own. And I can attest to that firsthand. I did a half marathon um, year before and then another half marathon using this. And I honestly didn't, uh, didn't work out as adequately as I should have because I was hurting the next two days after, but I cut down 10 minutes on my half. Wow. I'm running twice a week on the treadmill with this. I went from an 8.30 pace to a 7.33 pace, and I ran a handful of times. I ran like two, three weeks before that. That's really awesome. And just to prove what this could do, it's it's phenomenal. Now, so it's doing a lot uh, for endurance, and I, I'm sure for beginners or people that are just looking to get fit, it's gonna do a lot. Now, what about somebody that is, I don't wanna say a big bodybuilder like me, but people that are really focused on their physique and the, and the look of their physique that fit into that fitness and bodybuilder category, you know, yeah. what kind of benefit will we see out of it? So that's actually, I mean, I, I love training everybody. I love, I honestly love helping people that have injuries because then they've got better quality of life, but I love training athletes because training athletes on this equipment is, it's literally game changing. It'll teach your body to recruit more muscle fiber so that way you'll get stronger. You'll be lifting safer. Um, this isn't gonna make you 
big. Mm -hmm. We're not going to make you your. Uh, we're not going to make somebody my size, your size with this equipment. But if I go to the gym now, all of a sudden I'm lifting a lot heavier, so I can get to that size, which is very heavier. important. And I appreciate the honesty on that. And I know that the people watching this will will too. You know, it's it's the byproduct, I guess, of what you're doing here that can help you so much in the gym. I'll be somebody that'll be you know able to to, to give an honest testimony of that. Um, that was my you know own thing going in here is. I didn't know that you could achieve true hypertrophy doing just this, but I, if, if you're getting better, uh, recruiting more fibers and, 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 and having a more safe function body going into the gym, then of course, you know, that would be the secondhand, you know, result. So yeah. it's creating a better mind muscle connection without your mind needing to figure it out itself. Cause we're stimulating your muscle fiber. Your mind just goes along for the ride and then it starts learning. I, I like to say it's uh, like a maze. And if you start in the middle of the maze and work your way out, it's a lot easier than starting from the out and working your way out. Good point. So, um, I mean, we're stimulating all your muscle fiber, type one and type two, which is physically impossible outside of EMS training. So you're getting a ton of added benefit that you would never get. Um, plus, we're with the help of our in-body, uh, which you're probably familiar mm -hmm. with. Uh, for those that aren't, it's a body composition analysis. We can tell your right side versus your left side, which one's dominant. We can equalize them um, down to the hundredth of a pound and that's also going to add a lot of strength in that. Very cool. All right, well, I'm ready to get into it. Are you ready, Karen? I'm ready. All right, I'm let's, let's take us into it. So Karen and I have already had experience on the in-body. Mine was not a good one. No. Mine probably was pretty crappy, too. Mine caused a lot of hate on social media, and I didn't want to come to my house and fight me. Why? Because he was saying that it was inaccurate, and how could I tell people that? And I was like, it's a machine. Who cares? I'm like, if I do this machine every month, we can accurately use what the machine says. Yeah. Um, because it said that I was, I guessed that I was around 9% when we went in, right? And I was a, a little bit softer than I am now. And the machine said that I was 8.8. And so this guy was like, there's no fucking way that you're that low body fat, you're like 15. And I'm like, who cares? And he's like, because you're, you're telling people something that's not accurate. And I'm like, I'm going by what the machine says. You, are, are you don't have a clue what you're even talking about. And the guy would just wouldn't stop with it. And then it turned into him being like, uh, I know where you live. In the end, I was like, you can come to my house. I'll be waiting, I'll be waiting for you. You obviously know my address. Don't think you're not gonna get a gun put in your face when you get here. And he was like, oh, you're gonna threaten me with guns. Why can't we just do this the old fashioned way? And I go, because anybody that's crazy enough to come to my house right now, I'm gonna make sure that I'm ready when you, when you get here. All over that. It was, it was, it had to be a Genova troll, so. This in body is drama. Mm -hmm. Wanna go first? Yeah, sure, why not? We're gonna get you measured first. Alrighty then. I have to step here. Yeah, just turn it in there. Okay, back it up. Oh, look at that. How tall are you, Karen? Do you know? Short. 5'2.5. Get that last point one. Ooh, 5'2.4. Like How about that? Well, I'm shrinking. I'm too young to start shrinking. Well, this will add. Honestly, uh, about a quarter of an inch, just because it's strengthening. Uh, strengthening. I we needed Sammy on this. He needed that quarter of an inch for the classic bodybuilding. He was stressed out over that. He was. He bought himself an inversion table that he was using every day wow. before nationals. Dedication. No, but, all right, you can come on over here. Heels on the back pads. Yeah. So, I mean, this is right up there with the Dexa, but. I like that each, weight. Each one is slightly wow, different. You're from, almost getting over there. <laughs> from what I've, um, I right, put your first name in, and we'll just keep it at that. Karen Y. Karen Y. Boom. Perfect. Hands on the pads, and thumb on the pad, perfect. And you're just gonna stay as still as possible. So, exactly like what you're saying. I found that in body as a whole, it's not 100% accurate with all other in bodies. Mm -hmm. But it's very, very accurate with itself. Yeah. So if you're doing it, we do it weekly. Every week we, we get the people up on there and then mm -hmm. that way we get enough data points that we can see what their progress is. Yeah, and I think that's a, a very smart way to do things. So, you know, before all this fancy technology, people used to use, you know, like calipers, for instance, right? right? So there's there's plenty of room for human error. Yeah. But if the exact same human is doing it the exact same way each time, then you can use that as a gauge to yeah. monitor your own progress. Yeah. Whether the numbers are truly accurate or not, 
is kind of irrelevant because if you're going in one direction or the other, you can use right. that gauge. So you're just looking for the change. Yeah. yeah. Um, people people get very like stubborn over over numbers. Um, I think all 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 of this stuff is is very cool because. I went to Yukon in the very early 2000s where we had like literally, you know, oh, yeah. metal yeah. calipers that, that we used. Yeah, so much, much different. All right, now are you. We'll see if all the heavy squatting I've done over the years has uh, shrunk me down a little bit, Eric. Yeah. What were you? Um, so I've always said that I'm between 5'10 and 5'11, um, give or take a half an inch, a quarter an inch, whatever, so. 5.9.3. Wow, see I am a little shorter guys, 5.9.3. And unfortunately I've triple checked this because I, although I do say that all, I think all doctor's offices because they use the same equipment, I feel like they're all about an inch off. Okay, um, so, so come on over. There's my height for you guys. Heels on the back pads. Measuring your weight. Do not grab the handles or move. That's a good weight. Weight measurement is completed. 224.6. I think your body fat's higher and lower than the last time we did it. Lower, definitely lower. I'd be very surprised if it was higher. Starting your in-body test. Do not touch or move during the test. Take any music while you wait. Halfway there, folks. Stay tuned. <laughs> so this one is telling me that I'm considerably higher than the one at um, mm. than the one at uh, Pure Life. Yeah. Um, now, if you look at my physique now versus the one at, at Pure Life, I think you would agree that I look considerably leaner now than when we did that one. Yeah, like you're tighter and drier. Yeah, so that just shows you the the differences from machine to machine. So this is saying that I'm 12.1, which is three percent higher than the one over there um i think that that's a very high number for what i look like but you know we're gonna go by what this machine says for what we're doing so it also um the time of day really plays into factor because so there's a you can step on off um for women if they're on their period uh if you're constipated if you just drank a lot or um or ate a lot of food that's all gonna go against you it's going to count as fat because the body hasn't absorbed it the body hasn't um, or the body's holding on to more um, so usually first thing in the morning you drink about an eight ounce glass of water just to let your blood be flowing a little bit uh, less viscous and and then that's about the most accurate time um, so if I would have pooped this morning I'd probably be my, my two body's pounds lighter <laughs> yeah no. um, and also women not that I mean, obviously they're gonna have uh, higher body fat than men, mm -hmm. but their chest, whether it's fake or not, it's still gonna read it as fat. So. Yeah, I also find that um, the larger the individual, as far as muscularity goes, it usually, I've, I've often seen a correlation with a higher number too. I think that it has to do with the density of the muscle, kind of uh, changing the way that the current is actually being able to sense things to your body. Cause I put very, very small muscular people like Nika on here. And obviously she came up with a number that I felt couldn't possibly be right. We did, we, we did her three yeah. times. I was saying she was like six. Whoa. And I was like, there's no possible way you're that low. You're in great shape. I'm like, but there's just no way that you're, you're that low. So, you know, bikini competitor. So, but that was like at competition. Yeah, it was around com competition time. So that I've, I've also seen some pretty jacked up, you know, much bigger than me. Bodybuilders go on here when they've been pretty close to competition, you know, within a couple of weeks or so and have them be in double digits, which, you know, you have to think is couldn't be possible for them to have, you know, striations in their glutes, but still have that high of a percentage. So I think there is a correlation with the density of a person. I think that for just your regular, you know, general, you know, normal people that aren't heavily muscled in one way or another, I think it's probably, you know, the most accurate yeah. there um, and, that, and that makes sense because this uses what uh bia bioelectrical impedance analysis so it, it uses a frequency that goes through your body mm -hmm. and it measures the amount of time that it takes yep. to go from one side to the other so fat is not a very conductive material water is a very conductive material your muscle is in the in between because it's got a lot of water um the more water you have so it 
you what you're saying is probably correct in that they're not looking for like jacked individuals mm. to be on this and to have it's very hard so they kind of just focus on the mean on what normal people um body type how they react and that's how it goes yeah we had uh when i was in college this was going back in the early 2000s it was when this technology was like really really new yeah and um you could purchase they're fairly expensive uh these scales that worked with a similar technology although there was nothing to, to hold on to um there was actually two things that were were we we did a bunch of tests on them in school actually so one was just a scale that worked around the same technology and then the other one was actually handheld um where you had to stand with your hands at a heart level hold on to the machine and, and you had to stand there for like let's say 30 seconds or whatever and it would give you the readings on that and it was the same thing there was a few of us that were bodybuilders in school, I remember one of my my buddy Renee was jacked, um, and our numbers were so different than everyone else's. But all of us were coming up pretty high. I remember Renee, who was very lean, was like 18, and um, then there was a kid that was really, really skinny, not fat by any means, but just skinny, and his came up like seven. And so he was like, "Oh, my body fat's way lower." And then Renee, who was just like a bodybuilder, you know. So yeah. you know, I do think that my the professor's theory was that. The density of, of the muscle obviously changes the way that this current is going to go through everything. Versus, if you're let's say you took somebody that was um, 300 pounds obese that had very low actual like like lean body mass, the water and fat, you know, the current's going to be able to travel through that at a much different rate um, than if it's just going through actual you know dense muscle. So um, I do think that if we're going to measure me on this every time, we we use that as that gauge. Of course, you know, it's like these athletes that say they've been tested at like 3% body fat, where, you know, I tell people, you know, there's no way that guy playing baseball is 3% body fat. There's just inaccurate, just on visceral fat that you can't even see alone. Well, and that's what, another thing I was going to say is this actually tells us a, a range. It tells us a level mm -hmm. of visceral fat and visceral fat, obviously, as you know, surrounds the organs in the midsection. So that's not always visible. Like it, you could look very lean, but if you have fatty liver, which is very does dangerous. it say the percentage or does it say the actual number of the visceral fat? It'll say a level. Because I like to see um, that. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, see that. we'll do the readout and I'll go over everything cool. very in depth uh, afterwards. But let's get you guys suited up into the suits and let's we'll do it. And guy that wanted to fight me over the 8.8, .8, I'm sure more happy over the 12 now. This is the suit. These are all the pads that are connected to the major muscle groups in the body. It's got to be pretty tight because we want to get as deep into the muscle fiber as possible. We just spray the pads down with water as a medium to conduct the frequency into the muscle. Um, if you've ever been to a chiropractor or something, you probably use gel, mm -hmm. but it's not as uh, commercially friendly. I mean, to lather somebody up in gel as opposed to just water. Um, we can just pan on our photo shoots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we can use that. <laughs> so, in the testing for this, before this became, you know, something that was that was used commercial, sure. I assume there had to be some points where maybe the contraction could have been so so hard that it would cause pain, right? Before they figured out how to like gauge it the right way. I mean, have you, with your own experience using this, ever had it be where the contraction was so? Intense that it was Nothing painful. Like a jacket. Um, yeah, in the core. Mm -hmm. Okay, you'll find. So it's nothing uh, dangerous because, and just zip it up and turn around and face me. Um, it's nothing dangerous in the way because I'm controlling it for you, and I keep them at such low levels to start, and we mm -hmm. slowly ramp it up. So it's all with it's all controlled. Okay, but and as I'll explain to you guys again, but. If something, it should be about a seven out of 10 in terms of intensity throughout the entire okay. body. So if you feel something's too much or not enough, just let me know, I can control each individual muscle group. Core is usually where fe people feel it the most. Um, so that's usually what we have to turn down. Now, as far as your own seven to 10 scale, let's just say that you are somebody who's a glutton for punishment mm -hmm. and you want to be at 10. Right. Is there anything negative can come from just enduring the pain and being at 10? So there actually is, um, if you go too high and you, it, you got to kind of have uh, nerve issues mm -hmm. for it to be at the extent where you, you can actually cause damage to the okay. person. Um, but that's why we're taught, we're going through extensive um, uh, school, not schooling, but a course to learn how to how to work with the person how to understand based on how their body's moving how it's locking out or not locking out how their face is contorting 
we can understand what you're feeling plus we do it to ourselves so we know exactly what you're feeling everybody's body's a little bit different but I want you to go hard, mm -hmm. but I want you to go hard. I want you to squeeze yep. and to flex. The harder you squeeze and flex, the better it's going to be. That Not necessarily the stimulus. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really the big change. And you'll notice if you're just like, like going through the motions with your biceps and then you really squeeze them and flex them, you'll see a huge difference. So we're going to get a good pump out of those. Oh yeah. Oh, are you ready to get pumped? Yeah. You're going to pose down with me after? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Let's wrap up the legs. And we already have like decent, obviously, mind muscle connection. Yes, so of course. that's why we're going to be in the zone. Oh, yes. Yeah. One thing about ah! it, oh, sorry, too tight. There we go. Okay. <laughs> One thing that for us that which I think gives us, I think, a better means of gauge of what we're doing here is that unlike strength sports or actual just, you know, physical activities, in fit, fit, fitness figure bodybuilding, mm -hmm. we're actually trained to contract these muscles without being working out. Awesome. Camera guy, what do you think of this futuristic stuff? Waiting to see your eyes' faces. <laughs> I have pretty good facial expressions. Everybody get What does that mean? You want me to take it easy on you? Just don't electrocute me then. She's got a very high pain tolerance, so. It's not a pain tolerance, it's like a warrior mentality. A warrior mentality? Maybe. Nervous? Very good. Alright, so, like what I was saying before, if you feel something's too, one body part is too intense or not intense enough, please let me know. It should be about a seven out of 10, okay. at least to start. And then we'll work from there. I'm gonna slowly start, I'm gonna start and slowly work the levels up and you guys are just gonna squeeze and breathe out, okay? Not, don't do the Valsalva maneuver by holding your breath yeah. in. That's not gonna be good. Um, all right, both of you take a tiny step back. I'm gonna give these to you. You're just gonna be tough and squeeze. Uh, perfect, that's fine. So get into this brace position, knees bent into like a squat and arms flexed. Again, remember you wanna squeeze all the muscles in your body. We're gonna go in a few seconds. All right, in two, one, I'm gonna slowly start raising them up. Ooh, yeah. with my booty. And it's off. <laughs> and again, in two, one, and squeeze and breathe out. That's four seconds on and four seconds off. Good. How you doing, PJ? Good. Two, one, and squeeze. Good. That one I felt more, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna yeah. Get more intense. No diggity. In two, one, and squeeze. Remember, you guys need to oh let me know. All right, I guess we're there for you. <laughs> I'll, I'll raise PJ up a little bit more. Yeah, two, yeah, one, and squeeze. Ooh. How you doing? Good. You feel a lot core. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is that where you feel it the most? Yeah. Uh, well, I feel it everywhere in the core. I feel. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> All right. All right. So start <laughs> down here. Arms down. Don't lock them out. Ready? And curl them up. And bring the hips up. Right <laughs> they like brought me up. <laughs> Good. And back down. And here we go again. In two, one, and squeeze it up. Squeeze that core. Squeeze it. Feel your glutes a lot. Yeah, make sure that we're standing completely up. Do you feel that in your glutes that much? And I'm two, concentrating my abs right now. And squeeze it up. <laughs> I feel right, like I'm going to abs down a little bit for you. Is this is really and cool, two, actually. I'm very sorry to start to sweat. It up. Is that better with the abs? A little bit, yes. A little bit. I can't find that a little bit more. And two, one, and squeeze it up. You will get the craziest core workout of your life. Core is, I feel, so for me, core and glutes are where I'm feeling it the most. Okay. So but probably because I have a giant ass. I can turn them both down and then I'll turn everything else up. There we go. And two, one, and squeeze it up. 
Good. Now you're gonna stay from the chest down, just lock everything out. We're just gonna do two bicep curls. Okay. Ready? Curl it up, back down, back up. <laughs> that one went hard in the chest one. on that one. Two, <laughs> one, and go. Bring it up, and down, and up. We're gonna watch PJ struggle with no weights. <laughs> and two, one, and squeeze it up. Come on. And down, and up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lock them out. Your tricep ah. is bigger than your bicep. It'll take over. You won't be able to move them. Good, and uh, one more. Good, now elbows up nice and high. We're gonna do kickbacks in two, one, and squeeze it out. Remember, keeping that core tight. Squeeze the legs. Good, and again, how's it going? <laughs> two, one, and squeeze them back. Good. Whoa. And again, here we go. In two, one, and squeeze it back. I'm gonna turn that back up a little bit for you. And here we go, in two, one, and go. Push it back. <laughs> Good. That one's tough. <laughs> yeah. All right, arms up here, take it. Arms up here, and curl it down. Bring it down, cross your chest. Feel that chest? Yeah. Yeah. And again, in two, one, and the more you cross your midline, the more you're gonna flex your chest. Good. That's okay on your pecs? Yeah. All right. And down. Good. Crossing, crossing. Good. Got my booty. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze everything. Keep everything nice and tight. Ready? And down. Down again. Good. All the way. Squeeze. Good. And this time, last one, two, one, and down. And we're going to hold it down here. From here, we're going to come out and then back down. So starting here, and two, one, and. <laughs> and down. <laughs> And again, in two, one, and bring it out. Oh my and God. down. It's good. good. And that's even without that's the tough on the, uh, on the ladder, the ladder will help. Two, one, and bring it out. <laughs> good. All right, into a lunge. Arms down by our sides. Ready, and come on up. Arms raised <laughs> in front, and lean slightly back. Good, back down. And two, one, and bring it up. Good, lock out those Whoa, legs. Oh, this one's hard. Lock out those legs, keep that core engaged. Back down, and two, one, and bring it up. Leaning <laughs> slightly back, really feeling in that back hamstring and glute. Keeping that Ooh. leg locked out. Good, back down again. Here we go, and up. Nice job, guys. How you doing? Great. <laughs> well, you're not making noises like PJ, and it up. Maybe it's not hard enough. Very hard, just pull. Very hard. <laughs> and again, two. One, and up. Nice job, and switch legs. Here we go. And two, one, and bring it up. Squeeze it, lock it out. Good, excellent job. And back down again, and two, one, and up. Good, lock out those legs, perfect. This one. <laughs> bring that leg back a little bit more, here we go. Knee off the ground, ready, and lock it out. Lock the leg out, good, flexing that quad, perfect. And two more, here we go. And two, one, and go. Good. Great, <sighs> huh? Last one. And two, one, and up. Good job. All right, starting knees together, arms up here. We're gonna do a military press and stand up. All the way up, lock it out. Good. As you come up, really squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads, hamstrings, and keep that core tight. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nice. And back down again. This is definitely getting hard. Now. <laughs> One and go. We've been going for five and a half minutes. Good. And now we're going to go up and then back down. Two. One and come on up and back down. Oh. Nice and low. Yeah. Keep those knees again. You can feel all the gluteus knees. Ready? And come on out and back down. Whoa. <sighs> yeah. And again in two. One, and go. And down. And one more, here we go. And two, one, and bring it up. And back down. Good, now starting wide, arms up here, we're gonna do a lap pull down and squat, sumo squat, ready, and come on down. Nice and wide, all the way, all the way, nice and low. I'm feeling my glutes oh. like crazy. You are? You hit my glutes a lot. And two, one, and go. So, even though you've got, you guys both have really, really good mind muscle connection, we're involuntarily contracting muscles that you guys Sorry. don't know how it's to contract. <laughs> it's hard? Yeah. 
And again, in two, one, and squeeze it down. Good. One more, and then we're gonna transition to some core work. And two, one, not to say that your core hasn't been working the whole time, because it has. All right, starting here, same position. We're just gonna rotate down. Ready? And squeeze down. Breathe out, hold it all the way. Rotate as much as you can. Good, back up. Same side, again, two, one, and go. How's that core doing? Oh, great. How are your arms? Ready, and come on down. PJ, you doing well? Mm -hmm. Good. And again, in two, one, and go. Squeeze it down. Come on, come on. Good. I want to see full rotation. Rotate as much as you can. Two, one, and squeeze it down. Good. Good, guys. And other side, last one. In two, one, and go. Bring it down. Good. Now bring the knees together, arms down by your sides. Ready, and come all the way up. Lock out the hips. All the way back. Good. Simple movements, but ready and up. But because your body's contracting all the muscles all at the same time, it makes it for a very difficult workout. And two, one, and up. Making sure to really squeeze the glutes at the top. Good, and back down. And two, one, and go. Good. There you go. <clears throat> All right, so right, laying flat on your back, heels up on the box. Yep. On um, which side? Yeah, you're right. right. Yeah. We're going to be doing this together. Oh. So you're pushing through your heels, you're going to drive your hips all the way up, squeezing the glutes, keep your arms crossed. Ah. You're going to go on this next one in two, one, and bring them up. All the way up, all the way up, good. And back down. Got in the hamstring. Two big triceps. Up a lot. Ah! Yeah, you'll feel it in your hamstring for sure. And you go push your hips oh, up yeah. as high as you can. Ah! And feel the glutes. Two, one, and go. Oh! Come on, come on. You got this. Good. I want those hips up all the way. Lock them out. Two, one, and up. Bring them up. Higher, higher. Oh, God. Squeeze them out. There you go. And again, last one, two. One and up, all the way up. Good, now you guys are both gonna lift this leg up into the air, straight into the air, single leg glute bridge. Ready? And bring him up. Hips up, hips up, you got it, you got it. Come on, come on, get up there. I need assistance Good. on aisle one. <laughs> Two, one, squeeze, activate those muscles. Good, there you go. That's I'm gonna lower it a little bit so you can get up there. And two, one, and again. Nice PJ. And switching legs. Feel that hamstring. So hard, so hard. Two, one, and go. Ugh. All the way up. Come on, get up there. What about that booty? I don't know where it went. I used Two, to have it. One, and up. There you go. Good job. Good. And back down. And last one. Two, one, and up. Good. Now we're going to be switching back to the first leg, but bring the leg towards me, out towards the mirror. Ready? And, yep, and bring your hips up. So now you're offloading the core. So you have to really keep that core engaged a lot more. And up to keep your body in line. Good, and one more, and then we're switching sides. And two, one, and go. Good, and switch sides. There we go, almost there. Two, one, and go. Come on, you guys got this. Come on, Freddy. Grab those hips up. And again, two, one. Hips up all the way. Squeeze it. PJ up. Good. And final one. Here we go. And two, one, and up. There you go. All right, you're going to squeeze this between your knees. And you're going to, you're going to do a glute bridge again. PJ, knees together, and up. Okay. Okay, I'm going to throw it in the side. And two. One, and squeeze, bring it up. Squeeze that ball. Good. Three more, here we go, you guys are doing great. Two, one, and up. Good job, guys. And last two, ready, and bring it up. There you go. Higher, higher, squeeze that ball, good. And final one. And two, one, and up. Hope you guys don't have leg day tomorrow. Good, I'm gonna lower it again so we can change into the next position. 
Good job. Ooh. All right, legs off. Can you All still right, get to lay down? Yeah, actually. Before we go into a plank, just scoot back a little bit more. What I want you to do is bring your elbows into the ground so that you're lifting your chest and your uh, back off the ground and look at your toes. Am I still holding this? Yeah, you can still hold it. Okay. So not, not resting on your elbows, but 90 degrees with your body and press them into the ground. Drive your elbows into the ground. You so, so you guys can relax right now and you're going to come up in two, one, and bring it up. And relax. Good. And again, in two, one, and bring it up. Good. Excellent. Good. And two, one, and up. You guys are doing great. Keep them up. Keep them up. Good job. And again, in two, one, and up. Hold them there. Yeah. Nice job. All right, on this next one, I don't want you to relax. You're going to stay up there. Ready? And bring them up. And hold. And when it turns off, you're gonna try and come up a little bit more. Come up a little bit more if you can with, those, with that chest, with that back, and squeeze, hold. Good, and relax. We're gonna uh, do that one more time. You guys got this, you guys are doing great. Ready, and come on up. Oh my God. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Good, don't relax, come up a little bit more. Off those shoulders, good, two, one, and squeeze, hold. There you go. Good, and uh, roll over into uh, a plank. I love you again. Last Woo. thing, just a plank. Last thing. A nice, easy plank. Last thing. Oh, easy. Plank. <laughs> Roll me on yeah. over. Yep. <laughs> there you go. You guys are both like Humpty Dumpty. We're going to have to put you back together after this. <laughs> Ready? And come on up. Nice. And relax. And again, in two, one, and up. Good. Make sure that back isn't arching. Make sure to bring that belly button to the spine. And two, one, and up. Perfect. On this next one, I want you to lift one leg up into the air. And two, one, and up. Good job, guys. Excellent. And switching sides, we're almost done. And two, one, and up. <clears throat> keep holding, keep holding. Good. Switching back to the first leg. And two, one, and go. There you go, keep your breathing up. Good, and other leg. And two, one, and squeeze it up, come on. Keep that core tight. Now keep both legs on the ground. On this next one, you're gonna lift one arm out in front. And two, one, and go. Off your stomach, please. Good, I'll leave it to you. I didn't hear that direction. No, no she didn't like this. I can't even get up anymore. One more, and then, uh, one more on the other arm and then we're done. Two, one, and up. Best one yet. Three, you go, you go. two, one, and done. <sighs> Good job. <sighs> you guys did great. Did we? Yeah. Way harder than I expected. Great or amazing or? Fabulous. The, oh, okay. The, the best. No, you guys did awesome. Wow. There you go. Tell you what, that's very hard. It's not easy. By any means. Um, I'll take the rest out there. So, just so you guys are aware, that wasn't the full 20 minute session. Um, that was 14 minutes. Okay, normally we do 12 with our, uh, with our, as our demo. We gave you guys a little bit extra just to give that little last oomph. But um, it, it's not even the full workout. Normally it's 20 minutes, so you can see. In a 20 minute workout, again, 36,000 muscle contractions. You're, with the strength, you're able to burn between three and 500, with the cardio between four and six, if you're pushing. Mm -hmm. So, and that's because you're contracting your type one and type two muscle fiber. You can see after five minutes, you're sweating. You're already, like, you're, your arms are already fatigued. Like, you don't get that in the gym, in, at least in that <coughs> amount of time. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Coach Gary? No, it's cool. I mean, imagine, imagine what the cardio one's like. Yeah, uh, this to me was like cardio to me. So the cardio, it's a slightly different frequency. This was four seconds of a really strong contraction mm -hmm. and it releases. The cardio is kind of twitchy, um, and we've got all different modes. So what we just did right now, uh, don't take any offense because they're all hard. Uh, this is the basic setting. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have four more settings uh, for strength. So we have five in total that you can progress up to, and then 
the cardio, we have four settings. Um, the last two are where you actually get that VO2 max increase. The first two are just more for the average person that's just looking to up their cardio, um, be in overall better condition. But for athletes, that, um, that third one, that's like, that's the sweet spot. And, uh, but if you guys want, when you come back, we can jump into that one and let me know if, uh, we can always turn it down halfway through if it's a little bit too much. Cause it really, it takes a lot out I think for 20 minutes, yeah, okay. for 20 minutes, your entire body is just contracting. There mm -hmm. is no break. There's no four seconds to take a breath. It's just always going, going, going. And it's cardio movement. So it already makes it harder to breathe. How much different are the movements? The movements are, um, like hit style. So do push ups. uh, Step ups um, with the battle ropes on the bike on the treadmill, uh, sit ups. Anything you think of. Yeah, I mean, climbers, yeah, you can do climbers. honestly mm -hmm. any movement, mm -hmm. um, especially if like if you've got back problems or any, or any kind of knee problems. It's really good because we can modify everything and you're still getting that muscle contraction. Um, but it was good. Have yeah, to I would say th this truthfully um, that. I obviously I decided not to work out before I came here, which was smart because I wanted to have the most. And then, and then in my head, I was like, oh, maybe I'll work out afterwards. Uh, but then I said during my Q and A today that I wasn't going to work out afterwards because I wanted to have like a true gauge of what I feel like the next couple of days. It would be a, a, I, I think unfair to go train. But now that I've done it, I don't want to train. I, don't I don't feel either. that I need to train I at all. I feel like I did a lot. I'm pretty tired. I'm, I'm a lot more tired than I would think that I would be. Um, so I, I definitely encourage people to try this out if there's one by you. If you're if you're watching this video and you're anywhere in Boca, you should definitely come try this out because it's intense and you'll like it a lot. Um, my advice is do not drink a pre-workout before you come. Um, <clears throat> made me very, very thirsty. And in the gym, you can drink in between every set, which I obviously didn't want to drink in between everything that we did in here. Um, that made it, I mean, it was still like a pleasurable experience, but that made it rougher in the sense that I was extremely dry in my mouth the whole time. It was throwing me off a lot. Um, it didn't make me nauseous, but I think if we kept on going for a few more minutes, I probably would have. I think I felt it the most in my, like, I felt it in my glutes a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, glutes and core. Uh, but you feel in a lot of uh, spots that you're not used to feeling the muscles work, which is cool. Mm -hmm. um, but it was hard. I'm sweating a lot and I'm not like a big sweater either, so. I sweat a lot all the time when I work out and train, but I like the squat with the, the kickback, the tricep kickback. Yeah. I just liked how all, everything felt engaged. It was good. Yeah. And, um, and we had, as if you're like a member and stuff, we're able to put your profile in. So we're able to fine tune all the muscles. So if the core was a little bit too much, or if you weren't feeling it enough in the arms, we fine tune everything. And then we're able to go from there every time. I thought it was so, like really good, like perfect where it was stimulating it real hard. Nothing felt uncomfortable but it still felt a good enough stimulation where I could really feel the muscles pumping. I mean, when we were doing like the, the laterals, you know, it, it was intense in my shoulders. Like, you know, it was felt like I was doing a really heavy, heavy lateral raise, you know, so. Yeah, it's cool. Um, it, was, it was good. Oh, I like yeah. it. You guys came to check yeah, out. thank you very much. I have, I have no closing words other than A, it was a lot harder than I expected. B, don't drink a pre-workout before you come here. And then finally, definitely try it out, guys. This is really, Cool. It's intense. So if, you, if you're looking for a challenging, outside the box, hard workout, I mean, we just got a very hard workout in not even a full session of the 20 minutes. So, you know, by all means, you know, challenge yourself, see what you can take with this. It's, it's going to surprise you. It'll put you on your butt. And let's just uh, add on to that, that everybody can try it out for free. Oh, so wow. You come in, first session's free. So there's no reason not to try it. There you yeah, go. Definitely try it. Tom Blackson Lab sent you anyway, guys. ESL. Feel? I feel now I'm very tired. It was good. It was yeah. fun actually. Um, she was making me laugh, of course, but it was fun anyway. Um, I was laughing. I could see you in the mirror, which was making me laugh a lot. But it was, it was. Uh, I think if the laughter wasn't there, it, it may not have been as fun. But I had a fun time doing it too, which was cool. But I am so right now. Uh, my legs, particularly my my left leg, must have been favoring this leg a little more. Are like pulsating. So like they they did a lot. Um, the rest of me is just tired. I would say my lower back, I feel it too. Still kind of like little bits of contractions going on in there. Like, a, you know, like I, I'm not cooled down all the way yet, but I'm, I'm at this point ready to lay down. So 
anybody who, who saw my Q and A today was like, yeah, I probably won't work out afterwards to get a be better gauge rate. I wouldn't want to work out now. It would not be something that I want to do. Maybe way later, but it, I'll just leave it for today. So. And, and honestly, <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend you working out either today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Your body needs time to relax, to recover. Um, even though you're so used to working out at, at the intensity that you work out, this is like nothing you've ever done before. It trained your body in ways that it's never been trained before. Mm -hmm. So it's really good to give it that recovery time so you don't risk overtraining because um, overtraining isn't gonna give you the results you want mm -hmm. in the end. Um, and I could tell you why your left leg feels more uh, like it was activated. Okay. Because your left leg is actually a lot. Um, 0.7 pounds, almost a whole pound lighter than your right leg. And you know what, like when I when I pose, when I look at myself in the mirror, my right leg, I see a considerable difference in the size. So that that shows you there. Part of that is because um, I got it fixed, but I went to Dr. Uh, Hassan Katami, who I talk about a lot from FTX Wellness. I was having some issues with my back, with my SI joint, and he ran some quick tests on me. And he's like, well, your glute is shut off on the side. It's not even functioning. So he stripped it down did some stuff to me where my glutes started firing again. So hopefully I bring this left, left leg back up to normal, but that, that shows you right there. That's pretty cool that I said that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then he, he could see that there, which is pretty neat. Yeah, yeah so, to, so to give some, a little bit more explanation, it's because we're stimulating your legs equally, but if you've got less muscle, we're putting that same amount of stimulus on less muscle. So mm -hmm. it's almost overstimulating, which is honestly a good thing because now hopefully it's getting more uh, more recruitment, more breakdown of the muscle fiber. So it should be able to start evening out a little bit more. Um, but let's start, uh, um, how do you feel? I feel good. I just feel, I feel tired. I felt like it was, I exerted, you know, as I would want to during a workout. And now I feel tired. Like after on the turf, I just wanted to lay there. I'm like, do yeah, I have to actually too. get up now? Didn't, didn't feel like a 14 minute workout? No, it actually, it honestly kind of went by fast. Um, I was happy when it was over, but I feel like I could have done more if I, yeah. if I, yeah, mm -hmm. I could have done more, but, um, I think he had more, what is it current or on him oh, than I does. did. And maybe. So the first time, honestly, it's a little bit difficult to do two people their first time, um, at the same time, just because I'm not able to, well, one person's talking or neither. neither yeah, it's talking, hard to, but. Um, sometimes it's a lot of fun to work out together. Yeah. Um, other times people just work out by themselves. So um, it's nice to have that option though. Yeah, it was hard. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll go back, we'll go right to here. This is the in-body, your in-body assessments, both of yours. We'll start off with the in-body score. PJ, congratulations. You have the highest score that I've personally seen. Cool. At 111. How many people do you think you've seen, you know, as far as like the gauge for that score? I've, so already here within the three months I've been open, I've had over a hundred people through the door. Cool. Um, and I've been doing this for over a year, so I've probably seen close to a thousand wow. uh, people. So if my mind being the highest thing you've seen tells you what? So it tells you that you have a hell of a lot of muscle. <laughs> no surprise. Okay. Um, the Embody score is a better reflection of who you are than a BMI would be. Because if you look at your BMI, it says you're obese. Yep. Okay, obviously you're not. Mm -hmm. um, anybody that's a bodybuilder for sure, but almost any athlete is gonna be on the BMI scale obese. Now, it's because it's really geared for your average individual, but still not even a very good um, estimate or range for that. So, but it's what they have right now. Not everybody has an in-body, but this is, this takes into account how much muscle mass you have as well as fat. So it's combining your, to your total weight and seeing what it's really made up of. And that's what the score reflects. Mm -hmm. So um, 79 also, that's amazing. Uh, basically anything in the 80s is already very good. You're right there. The reason why you're not in the 80s is because that muscle is just a little bit under. It's still in the normal range and we need to get it into the over range. Um, now you are very muscular. We just need to- We were trying to make her less muscular for I a know. this year too. I want to be less. You want me to be more? <laughs> if you want your in-body score to go. It depends, <laughs> what your goal is. it depends what your goal is. What if we switch your goal into trying to get in your in-body score as high as possible? Let's not do that. <laughs> if, you, if your goal is... I'm on this uh, good path right now. So you want to lose muscle? She was jacked for a while, and then yeah. she decided that she didn't want to look like that anymore. And so she actually did a, a really good job of, of pulling muscle off. She was a women's physique competitor. So she, if you, to the untrained eye, people would look at her and think she's a professional bodybuilder. Right. And um, so although she's still pretty muscular now, she's done a good job of pulling a lot of that muscle off, so. Good, okay. So then 
honestly, I would definitely suggest, I mean, not, um, not one way or the other, but the cardio, that will not put the strain on the muscle to really build it, but it's gonna burn tons and tons of, of calories, especially with the amount of muscle that you do have. It will lean you out um, without making you bulky. Um, oh. But like I said, even the strength, it doesn't make you bulky. It'll just make everything really firm and tight. Um, PJ at 114 pounds of muscle, that's skeletal muscle. So mm. that's with the water weight. If we're to dehydrate that and make it into like beef jerky, you're talking about 51.8 pounds. That's a lot. Um, 26.5 pounds of pure lean muscle. That's still a lot. That's a really good job. The higher the muscle, the more, uh, the better your metabolism, mm -hmm. the faster your metabolism. So your, your metabolism, your BMR is 2,305 uh, 2, uh, calories. Okay, so mm -hmm. I don't know how much you eat, but probably around 25, 2,700. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. um, and yours is 1,300, okay? Those are very good. You guys, can, good. you guys can eat whatever you want and still look the way you do. Um, I that. And we were talking about the visceral <laughs> fat level before. I'm glad to see that they're both low. They're both in the range that they're supposed to be. Four being what I was told optimal, but between three and six is, is a really good range. Um, women are typically going to hold a little bit more than men because of biology, mm -hmm. but anything in that range is good. Anything over 10, now we're starting to look at higher, uh, an increase in uh, CBDs, cardiovascular diseases, mm -hmm. a higher risk. Moving on down to the segmental lean mass. I'll start with you because yours actually looks, um, it's a little bit more different. So you can see that you're very upper body dominant and that your legs are not that they're weaker. Okay, obviously you have more muscle in your mm -hmm. legs, but percentage wise, your, your upper body is a lot bigger. Now your right arm, is, uh, sorry, your left arm is a lot bigger than your right arm. Mm -hmm. Did you have an injury in your right arm? Yeah, so I, I had reconstructive surgery on my right arm and this delt is the one that I have major injuries to this delt, so half the muscle doesn't even fire the right way anymore. Okay, yeah, because with the amount of difference that this is, I wouldn't say that's just an imbalance. Yep. That's usually an injury. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, it, and you're talking about basically 0.7 pounds also um, difference. So that's quite a bit. Your trunk, and this goes from your chest all the way down to your glutes mm -hmm. at 94 pounds. Okay, that's a lot. And we already talked about your legs. So you can see your upper body is much more muscular than your lower body. Mm -hmm. Again, not that it weighs more, but it just proportionally. Yep. Whereas you, you're very symmetrical all the way mm -hmm. through. Okay, that's good. Is it? Yeah. Okay. You want to be good. symmetrical. Yeah, I want to get all this little bit thicker than the <laughs> We'll get to you there. <laughs> um, but on stage, you want to be symmetrical, yeah. right? So Yeah, true, 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 true. So that's good. That's I mean, that's probably why the physique that you have is the way it is, is because you train so hard to get it like that. That's not going to change overnight. You spent years training for mm -hmm. it to be like that. So um, Smart. it will take some time. But you're, I mean, your right and left arm are identical. Your right and left leg, your right leg's slightly higher than your left leg, slightly more, uh, more muscle mass. But 0.3 pounds, I would suggest lifting more on your left leg, more uh, isolate, um, isolated movements, mm -hmm. but it's still okay, as long as it doesn't go more. Okay, you don't want that difference to increase too much because then that's gonna put a lot of load on one side of your spine or hips rather than the other, okay. instead of it being equal, and then you can throw out your back, and that's the last thing we wanna do. So you're saying I look pretty balanced and symmetrical and almost perfect. You. Basically, yeah. <laughs> let's just say See, perfect. I that let's, up. Take out, let's take out the other. <clears throat> let's just say perfect. Where's my trophy? You can get a trophy for that. If you All right. Like I'll, take it. Mm -hmm. I'll get a trophy yeah. for some. I'm proud to know that I have the highest that you've seen. That makes me feel good. Yeah. yeah. It should. That's a phenomenal score. A any so just for in perspective, anything over a hundred, which I rarely, rarely ever see. I've seen maybe two scores over a hundred. That's a professional athlete. Mm -hmm. Like you can't be over a hundred and not be a professional athlete. You've got too much muscle. You've worked too hard on your body to to be anything but. Cool. Um, even in the '90s, that's still very good. That's still like athletic. That's still well. That's more than athletic. That's an athlete. But you're talking about like the pros that they're over a hundred. Um, 
and the highest I've ever heard of was I think 127. I didn't meet the person, but he was a bodybuilder, shorter, stocky, but just like Jack. Mm -hmm. So tons of muscle, not uh, not as tall as you, and um, so that's why his score was higher. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, and that's a little bit about that. That's awesome. Very neat. Yeah, pretty. It's pretty cool. It's a good number. I'm tired. Yeah. I really am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. And your guys' water. Um, Thank you very much. Very good. So keep going the way you're going. Thank cool. you. Thank you, man. Very cool. Very welcome.